Uh, my name is Margaret N. Windsor, and I was kidnapped in 1941, brought to Moulton, Alabama, and given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married Childers. I found out late in 83 when I was in a political campaign to replace a doctor, U.S. congressman, I had written about in a book, MDL License to Kill. Uh, the plane carrying Larry McDonald, congressman doctor, was shot down by the Russians when it veered into Russian airspace. It was the KAL, uh, August 31st of uh, 83. Larry Flint invited me out to his Bel Air home, and he helped me in the campaign because he had been shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, while I was doing the book. In 78, he was shot March the 6th of 1978 by a program shooter. The Tesla files I was writing about that were stolen in 1930, well, they were actually using the method and mechanism before. It was about using mind control and programming to make people do anything you want them to. They can e even cure an illness or create one. And uh, your medical profession wouldn't survive if uh, everybody knew this, uh, that they've always had a cure and they can even create new illnesses. So I, I'm going to mention Warren and Rosina Matthews. They were pathologists at Larry McDonald's Hospital in Atlanta. Uh, Piedmont, they were killed because they knew how deaths were made to appear of natural cause. And I want to mention Dr. Hardiman. Gene Srokerman was shot in his office about 1976 on Christmas. Her attorney was my attorney, the former um, uh, Fulton County, Atlanta, District Attorney uh, Eugene Kaiser. <clears throat> and she was shot in his office Christmas Eve. Now, um, my attorney gave me, tried to give me a file on her, but the police came and took all of it except a deposition of Jean's, and I got it. <clears throat> and I started writing about her, uh, which was illegal to take it from the, he's a former district attorney, Eugene Kaiser was. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to show you the depth of it in the fact that Jean Strokerman was, uh, sent to my attorney by way of uh, Emory University's Dr. Jonas Robertsher, who was head of uh, psychiatry and law there. His last book that he published, he mentioned me in it, my last 10 cases in my book, although I'd never met him to my knowledge. A beautiful man, an honest man who stuck his neck out and wanted to get for it. He got murdered, and they don't even call it that, in 1980 or 81. Uh, so I, I was writing about mind control and trying to tell it, and I almost got killed April Fool Day of 80. It was a horror story, but that's not the first time, and I thought it was because of the book I wrote and was trying to get published. And uh, I found out that, um, uh, well, I had a letter from the FBI, Ongoing Investigation National Security Involved, and it was sent to me June the 23rd, which is my father's birthday, uh, only it's obviously in 78. Now, April Fool Day of, of 80, I was almost killed. Uh, I was illegally taken across the state line back to Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, I worked for the dist uh, District Attorney Fred Simpson there, passed a background check, worked for him. And his name is Simpson, as in Wallace Warfield Simpson, that was supposed to marry my father and became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, which is a lie. Uh, my father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, uh, Windsor, and she was queen in 36 when my father was taken down with character assassination by the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers. My own uncle George VI is the illegal monarch, and he became the illegal king, George VI. Uh, he would follow the Illuminati, the Mafia's orders, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Kennedys, Roosevelt's. Roosevelt had appointed Joe Kennedy ambassador to England 
36 till they kicked him out in 46. And Jeff K would fly in there when I was born in 39. Well, he flew in there anyway, but in, he helped kidnap me and bring me to Moulton, Alabama in 41. Um, when I lived, I'm going to go back to Warren House Apartments. I lived there when I worked for the district attorney and for Doyle Duke. Um, it's my understanding, and it's pretty true, that Doyle Duke worked for the CIA. He was a good guy, though, he and Clarice. I worked for them next, so the Duke is like a clue to my identity, and it gets into patterns. And um, um, Fred Simpson, Simpson, the district attorney, is like in Wallace Warfield Simpson. So it becomes patterns. I didn't know. It was patterns before, but I didn't know my real name until then. That I'd been kidnapped and that it was a takedown with character assassination of my father, Edward VIII, because he was a good guy. And he and my mom, when they got rid of the, my mom, of my dad, they had to get rid of my mom's name, even though she's sister to George O'Keefe, the artist. They have lied about her. When she died, all of this. She, They were still alive and married when I came to Roanoke in 86, October of 86. So now I'm going to um, jump to this. Jeff K., it was a Warren Commission cover-up. There's a, He was taken to Parkland in uh, Dallas when um, he was shot, Jeff K., uh, he was shot by program shooter. That's what they're into, uh, what's happening in Martin Luther King. Well, that gets into a whole other story of Martin Luther King and the Kennedys, Jeff K., um, joining hand in hand, and Reverend Andrew Young, who was um, appointed to the UN by Jimmy Carter, the governor uh, and president at the time. And their whole aim was to take down Great Britain and um, South Africa and everything. And they used me and my father in invading Great Britain. They didn't come as friends to save us. They came to take us over. Sir Winston Churchill joined with them, burned the Windsor Files, my birth certificate, my mom. And... Um, I'm going to go to this right at the moment, the Parkland, the, the murders down in Florida. I worked in at the Tampa Hilton 1982 till 83 early. And while uh, on November the 16th, I was through there in uh, Tampa when the Martinez girl, that is, uh, he was the mayor Martinez, became governor, and then he was drug czar under... Um, um, Bushes. Uh, I'm not going to say anything else about that, but his daughter was the first on the milk cartons that she was missing. Now, she was brought back there to Harris, Fort Harrison in Clearwater, which was controlled by the Rodriguez Gonzalez Martinez. Nobody ever took her off the milk carton for a long time or said she was uh, returned. Anyway, I don't think you can even Google her now. Uh, you could for a long time because she was returned. I'm telling you about a war going on and you don't care to hear it because of the method used and who's doing it because it's you all, America. So I'm going to go back to, um, I even taped for the Clearwater Police some stuff I knew, and I'm not going to put it up here. I've put it up before, but I'm not going to put it up now. It's too bad. Uh, anyway, the shootings are just ongoing. Any fool, it doesn't take me telling you. You can Google Google Mind Control and MK Ultra, although that's not exactly who's doing this, but you didn't care to hear, and I've told you with tapes and tapes and uh, Facebook and everything, uh, YouTube. So now I'm going to, um, these murders were done in patterns, and you've got some stars that were knocked off that would really uh, make you get all up in the air about it because they're very famous and they were killed. But you didn't care about me. I've been called every name in the book. You like Elizabeth, who's illegal. Uh, I've been raped. I've been tortured in ways that are, so now I'm going to get to this and I'm going to stop 
I don't know where my children are. They're heirs after me, Mark and Scott. We were separated way back then. And I've put all this on Facebook and YouTube in hopes that my children, if they saw it, they would know the truth about all of it because they didn't know. I didn't know about being uh, Margaret Ann Windsor and heir to the British crown or who my father and all that was at the time. This happened April Fool Day of 80 when they almost killed me. And I ended up working for the district attorney, etc. So, so that I'm not skipping around, because I got a feeling I'm not going to be able to uh, get on YouTube or Facebook anymore. Um, mind control is subliminal, it's not subliminal um, hypnosis. It's done by uh, putting chips in people. And you, I, use, I put this up about, um, oh gosh, I'm going to forget his name right now. I put it up. It's called Project Lucid by Tex Mars. I believe it's Tex. And um, a church gave it to me after I came here in 86 and said, well, this is what you're writing about. Because he was writing to a degree. He just didn't have Timothy McVeigh. He, that's who I'm trying to say, was in the book. And they told about his uh, being programmed. And he was. He said the military put a chip up his buttocks. And he helped blow up the, well, he didn't. It's the people pulling his strings. He's a puppet. Uh, in the uh, federal building in Oklahoma City. Um... So he was put to death, and he's an innocent person. That's what people can't get when they're talking about the Parkland that's just happened or any of these. Uh, they've all been the slew, and, and it's been the ones that um, were done out in San Bernardino, Columbine, uh, Waco, Texas, all of it. The use of mind control and on the planes uh, with your... Uh, shoe bomber and all this, they're programmed. And it's brought in more supposedly security to the airlines, which allow them to go through all your luggage and all this stuff, and you're so glad to have it because you you feel secure. Well, it was all contrived. Um, like the uh, KAL that went down with Congressman Larry McDonald, doctor, the one that tried to kill me, and Larry Flint, and he even said it in the endorsement, April of 84, Hustler. Uh, the pilot flew into Russian airspace. He was programmed to. You, so this is some joke when they put all the U.S. Marshals and everything on your plane and tell you you're safe. They, who says they're not programming the U.S. Marshal to come out blazing with a gun? Or your security at Sandy Springs isn't programmed to come out blazing with a gun? Or a knife? or whatever. Um, it's not limited to guns at all and rifles, but like Hinckley, John Hinckley, who spent time in the mental hospital for shooting Reagan, his family had just had dinner with the Bushes. They were cl um, close friends. Bushes were vice president. So you don't want to hear the truth. I've told it. Um, they even programmed Hinckley, and he spent time in the mental hospital. And you've got James Holmes, who, uh, the Aurora, Colorado shootings, that was done in patterns. Most of these can be proven, even though it's invisible. That was the reason they were done. Um, he, I don't know if he's still there, but they put him in a mental hospital, and they gave him psychotic drugs. He's not mentally ill. Mind control and programming, you're not fools, people. If you really want to know, you do something about it. Um, mind control has to be stopped in programming. They are not mentally ill, and giving them psychotic drugs is the worst thing that you could ever imagine to do to a human being. So I'm going to leave the parkland real quick. I'm going to leave it at this. I've told you about Victor Gonzalez. He's a child psychiatrist, or he treats anyone. I was told when I was doing the book and uh, that uh, two young people were raped by him, and he they started telling it, and he had them killed. 
He was under investigation when there was a uh, seal put on, and the seal didn't include misdiagnosis for the reason of rape and killing. Now I want to go back to him. That's in Atlanta, Georgia. He was part of Parkland, Parkland Hospital in Dallas is a branch of the Parkwood in Atlanta, where Gonzalez was on Cliff Valley Way in Decatur, Atlanta, Georgia, where he practiced all those years. After he left Parkland in Dallas, where JFK was brought, when he was shot, JFK helped in my kidnapping, and he was shot by a program shooter himself. If you want to call him a Manchurian candidate, you can. The whole thing is they can uh, create illnesses or cure it. So uh, it's not, and they can have you commit suicide, and it looks like you killed yourself, like Robin Williams, etc. Uh, so the Parkland down here in Dallas uh, was. Uh, Gonzalez was part he was there when Jeff K was brought in shot so he went to Huntsville, Alabama Redstone Command Center Army Command Center he was there uh, till about 66 and then I, don't, I met him at the health spa that I worked for Cousin Paulton I thought he was the most horrible human being he brought his wife she was from Honduras they just had a baby. He followed her around. He was a control freak. I forgot all about him until Atlanta. Uh, my husband had gone to work for Lockheed Marietta, and he moved me and my children, well, our children, Mark and Scott, there. And my children had been born there, uh, actually, and we'd moved away and then back. But Gonzalez was there at Lenox. The, they were twin uh Oh, kind of like Twin Tower buildings across from Lenox Square Shopping Center. And this is where the man uh, ended up, and he worked for, again, for, um, um, it was Parkland, was in Dallas Hospital, and uh, uh, this was, um, I'm <laughs> drawing a blank right now, I guess, uh, I wonder how long I'll live, you know, um, Parkwood in Parkland. But if you want to Google it today, they're still there. And you notice how they've flourished into this huge, huge mental hell. You've got, and I'm going to go ahead and say it, you've got the police chief uh, down in Parkland, and this should be the last one, if it's going to be over and if any of this is told about me and my father and what, the, the Americans and a few of my own people did to us. It should be now. It should be the end of it, the Parkland shooting. But you've got Scott Israel. Uh, he's police chief, or sheriff, I believe. And Israel is like the, if you go back to your timeline, after they took down my father and kidnapped me, the United States inv invaded Great Britain. Uh, they have underground bases there. They have Area 51 in Australia. They took, they kidnapped me and took my father down and they put their own monarch in there, George the Sixth, illegal, who would do what they wanted. So um, that became your United Nation. That was their end to taking over the United Nations. The Roosevelt's were part of it. Rockefellers, Bilderbergers. Uh, now. Uh, that's your United Nations is your front for your global government. And um, there was something else I was going to say there, and I, I don't guess I will. I've kind of forgot it's early in the morning, and I'm living.